Okay, let's cover all image augmentations. So here I'm going to show you a real story uh, this year. It's a consumer electric uh, show here uh, like uh, two months ago. The startup wants to show a demo. The demo is about small vending machines. You put the vending machine here, there's a bunch of drinks, you just grab a drink, and there's a camera going to recognize what the drinks you grabbed. So if you go to Amazon Go, it's very similar to Amazon Go. And then they, they built that one on their lab. It works pretty well, like 99% accuracy to recognize the drinks you, you grabbed. But then they bring to the show, it doesn't work anymore. And they bring to the show that the light before the next day, next day gonna open, that doesn't work. Why are you gonna debug that? They find two reasons. Firstly, the night temperature on the showroom is different to the lab they have. It's pretty, you it cannot, it's hard to see on this picture, but it's like, it's quite a yellow. Secondly, they put the box on the desk. You have light reflections from the desk. And before that, the, in the lab, they don't have such that thing. So what, how to solve it? They worked all night, called the engineers in China, sorry about that, guys. It's just uh, to buy a light to identical to the showroom te light temperature, connect data again, and train the model. That's all. They spend all night to do that and connect the, like a bunch of data set. Uh, good, they have two vending machines, <laughs> so they can do that one. And then they all the uh, tablecloth just uh, cover the, the desk, so that's no light uh, reflections. So that's a real story, and it's, not, it's pretty commonly happened. For example, you're gonna deploy a face identification app into your mobile phones. Then you're gonna find, if you, after deploy, you, you're gonna find the light condition are very different, indoor, outdoor, and the camera quality are different. Also, if you're gonna do speech recognition, like uh, you, I don't know if you're using Siri to speak something, indoor, outdoor, back noise, all, all the things affect all this uh, model accuracy. So that is a lot of things we can, um, it's a real problem to deploy product into reality. Okay, so one thing to help it, not, but not solve it, that is we can augment the existing data set with more diversities. For example, on the speech, we can add a lot of background, background noise to the speech data set during training, so we can simulate the different scenarios. For images, we can transfer images to by change the shape, change the color, so that we can cover more diversities on the images. Okay, because we're gonna talk about conversion, we're gonna focus on image augmentations. So the, how it works is like, we have original data set. It's a cat here. And we're gonna generate a bunch of augmented data set, a lot of variants here to make a larger data set. And then we train the model on the larger data set. So usually we're gonna generate the thing on the fly. We actually don't just generate a lot of new images and store in desk and train that. We just, every time read a bunch of images, do augmentations and train that. We so we generate on the fly. Okay, so next let's do like uh, several commonly used augmentation technologies. The first is flip. You can randomly uh, flip left to the right of the cat. And also you can do a bottom, uh, top to bottom flip uh, but top to bottom flip doesn't work any uh, any time. For example, this cat cannot sit on the cell, a uh, ceiling. Um, you can you cannot put the sky on the bottom and uh, the ground on the top. So, but sometimes it works. The other thing you can do crop. Crop means that give an image a crop area in the image. So what I can do here. I can first randomly pick up a width to height ratio. So here I can randomly pick up a ratio between three over four to four over three. And then we can randomly uh, pick up the area size, which for example, we can pick up the area size is between 8% to 100% of the original, the whole image. Then we can randomly choose a position. After we crop, uh, we resize to a common shape. So then, the crop is pretty useful for that. You have a bunch of different images have different size, and we crop and resize to the same size. That's a pretty common use that one to normalize the image size. Besides, um, 
the flip and the cop just take care of, or if you take a pictures, you can take a different distance for the object at different angles, different uh, length uh, distortion, uh, distortions. And also we have different colors, like we can change the uh, hue, uh, saturation, brightness. So for example, we can do here, we can change the scale. We can either reduce the brightness by 50% or increase by 50% or just between them, any between them, okay? Um, so then, well, there's a lot, lot of things to do that. If you used the Photoshop before, anything, any transformation you can do in Photoshop to transform the image, you can, you can do just the image augmentations. So here, here's the repo. If you're interested, there are like 50 different augmentations there. Like you change, adding noise, make the sharp, and the color a lot of, like uh, uh, even I blur, blurring, uh, but even human kind of hard to read all this distillations. So that's just like a Photoshop in the images. Uh, okay, so let's show how to do augmentations in Python and actually using augmentation to train an image.